All right, folks. We're working through the bugs on Eric's car. Um, cranked it up this morning and it was uh, popping and sputtering it out one side real hard. So uh, I went through and pulled the distributor cap off. And let me show you what I found. Uh, there was a couple things to begin with. One thing was uh, they give you this little uh, relay kit for the fans and they give you this block overheat switch. <clears throat> Let me get down here. It's a little block overheat like a fuse type switch. Well, they don't give you a diagram which side to connect to for hot. You know, there goes my train. <laughs> which side to hook to for the hot side. So, if you have it hot all the time, this little plate, if it overheats, it'll pop open. Well, when it pops open and you've got power on, on this side, it touched inside the casing. Well, when it touched inside the casing, of course, direct to ground, plate bent backwards and put more ground on it, and it just fried it right off the pole. So, that was pretty much junk. Well, so the fans, I noticed it before they got out past the normal stage. And it, this thing stays real cool with them fans, about a quarter of the way up. Well, anyway, this is what we found on the distributor cap. Y'all see these things down here? You know what they are? They're sheetrock screws. Well, somebody cut them and used them to hold the coil down onto the cap. Well, what that did was literally popped the inside of the cap out, broke off, you know, just came right through and broke where the little bosses are. And it came through, actually this side is through too. See, it's popped open, that's what popped off. A little piece of plastic. Right there. And it was arcing right through. So, there was our problem with our mess. Let's hope it didn't overheat the module or the coil too much. I didn't let it run a whole lot. I'm trying to adjust the carburetor and things like that. But it's not gonna adjust when it's skipping and missing. So we'll go get the cap for it. Find some screws to fit it properly. It looks like that um, centrifugal advance needs a little bit of cleaning. Remove some of the rust. Add a little. Not too bad. Bushings of wore out on the sides. I got some bushings for it. But she snaps up and was real responsive. And then all of a sudden it just dropped off and started popping and backfiring. So I guess the uh, rotor button was arcing it back right to it and it was mainly on this side over here because it load up the exhaust with uh, a little bit of fuel and then it would burn it and it would you know like a 12 gauge pop or not a 12 gauge but it was a live pop a couple cylinders of fuel and then fire it sounded like a gun going off but uh we're getting ready he's almost ready to leave i want to work all the little bugs out of it I think that was the only bug I ran into so far. That and his battery is too large. Eric, you're going to have to get a smaller battery. It doesn't fit the tray lengthwise and widthwise is so close. I mean, I've got it just held in there a little bit with a bracket, but that's no good. You're going to have to have a smaller battery. Um, everything else seems to be doing good. The brakes are good and stiff. I haven't taken it down the road yet until I work out the bugs. And the radiator seems to be working great. It's cooling the engine off because after I uh, found the little fuse block intermittent or breaking off there, I noticed that uh, it was coming up. As soon as I turned it on, it brought it right back down to quarter at idle. So it um, does its trick. I, oh, I did find that uh, thermostat housing was leaking, so I put a new thermostat gasket on it. 
just little things, itty bitty things that come up that uh, I need to find while it's here. Like I told Eric, I need to take it on a 20, 30 mile run, make sure the starter don't heat soak or anything like that. We did put a new starter on it. So, but uh, with everything working good, you pump it once and tap the key and it fires right off. But like I said, this morning it just started popping and I found the problem. So we'll fix it and it'll be almost ready to go home. All right, y'all have a good day. Thanks for watching. It's 101 in here right now. <clears throat> I know I always say goodbye and then I come back. It's actually 103. Yes pushing 104 but there is sun on the back side of that wall now so and we're in the hot box there's TJ Chevelle in Izzy's car all right y'all have a good day thanks for watching